Well, well, today is Saturday, July the 22nd, and I wish you would look at how much brick they put on this house. He said they'd be finished in three days. It, brick's just going on the front. That is a lot of brick done very fast. Goodness. Look at that. Boy, that's amazing. I'll show you a picture of his um, business card. You may have some brick laying stuff you want him to do. If you do call him, uh, ask him for the Buddy deal. Tell him you've seen it on the Buddy Huggins YouTube channel. And uh, see what he says. <laughs> I tell everybody that, though. You know, it's, I enjoy helping. Everybody needs a little help. I think that's what we're supposed to do in this world is help others at least as much as we're helping ourselves. And when we do that, we become blessed. I'm living proof of it. I'm blessed and got much favor. Lap one. Now this is right across from the street that where we are with the house being bricked. They're laying out, see all them red flags? They're laying out for another house. It'll be starting here pretty soon. And uh, this is County Line Road, and let's see if we can zoom in on that sign. can't really see it. Well, it's right across from this house right over here. See all them little red flags? Look at this. Everywhere. They got the house staked out and everything. It's right across from there. All right, I got to go. Well, they got a little bit of the roof part started. Interesting to see, because it looks really low, but uh, that could be, well, we just have to see. It could be an architectural, uh, structural design for a room that's vaulted, but it's hard to tell. Okay, this is Finbrook, and um, it's really early in the morning, and I... Ooh, when I stop riding like this, I lose my momentum. It slows me down. But I thought I'd show you what they did since yesterday. Today's the 22nd, July 2017. All right, I'm gonna get on down the road. All right, today is the day after I did my best ride of the year. I did 17.4 mile per hour average over the the course that I have laid out basically it's 23 here and 23 back to Ozark to Rogersville and it works out to be 46 point let's say 46.6 today uh, I'm not going quite as fast but I got a strong first lap and we'll just continue to see how it does but I had something I wanted to say, but I can't remember how I was going to tie it all together. Oh, about them electric bikes. My hand is shaking like some bitch. Yeah, let me see if I can do this. Yeah, about them electric bikes. Um, they're interesting. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the video. Well, matter of fact, I think I just, it's Creative Commons. I'll just put a, um, a clip in here after this to tell you a little bit more about how these electric bikes are becoming uh, a real real thing now whether it's a fad or whether it's going to really do some people good you know get them exercising uh, the judge is out on that because um, but anything to get people up off the couch anything to get people out in the you know 
I, modality of exercising is a good thing. So I'm not going to kick it. I'm just going to, um, you know, just see what people are saying. One, one theory is that they're pushing this on people is because they want to take their cars away eventually. And um, I, don't, I don't know if you remember, but um, you used to watch a video about China and everybody was riding bicycles. Then all of a sudden they started riding motorcycles. Then the next thing you know, they was riding scooters. And then the next thing you know, they got prosperous enough that they started actually driving cars. Now, if you look at a video of China, today, all the vehicles are on the road. So they went from bicycles to scooters to cars. Now we are went from cars. Now they want us to go to scooters and bicycles and motorcycles. I don't know if it's a good thing or what, but I know there's a lot of people got big old pickup trucks and they ain't going to give them up easy. They're addicted to driving, you know, in comfort. But you got a lot of young people, up and comers, that they're getting into this. And you got older people that want to exercise, but they need something a little easier than a, a bicycle, a road bike, or let's say a mountain bike. Yeah, we'll see what happens. It's interesting, to say the least. All right. Well, as you can see, they're doing the mud. And um, looks like they've done all this in one day, or I can't remember the last day I was in here, but I can tell you this, they're moving. They're getting it done. The Amish didn't show up. It's Saturday, the 22nd of July. But uh, you can see they started doing the elect electrical over there. Yeah, coming around with the Face hands. Yeah. Wow. They'll be painting this thing before long. <laughs> Got it looking good. This whole unit is taped. He's taking his stilts off. He's through. <laughs> ah, he's putting them on. My bad. He ain't quite through, but he's getting close. Let's go look at the other building. It won't be long. They'll be siding that like they got this side in here. And they almost did that, so it won't be long. I bet, I bet you brick goes on the front of this. I don't know that for a fact, but oh, they got to get over here. Yeah, they don't have this mud, it, so they give you an idea of what it looks like before they put the mud and the tape on it. <sighs> yeah. They'll be over here on this side getting that done before long. That's the joint compound they're using. <sighs> yep. Yeah. See how fast they get this one over here done. I thought I'd just give you, a, thought I'd just give you an update on what they got going on. Saturday, there ain't too many people working on Saturday out here. I just wanted to show you this. This is the kind of stupid you see in Ozark, Missouri, with the city, and uh, I blame this directly on the mayor. And the people that are in charge, not necessarily the workers, but the stupidity of leaving this piece of sh in here, knowing 
that they had boring equi equipment in here and they bored underneath this this creek <sighs> it doesn't make any sense it's just it's just their stupidity their way of t telling you you know we own this spot right here our cables are underneath there and you y'all can't walk around here you can't we don't even want you here there's the other side it's underground out of all the damn wires above the ground they're gonna put this underground and i don't know if you can see it but there's cables just dangling through the line right over there this has been months and months that they've had this mess out here they purposely drug this here this just didn't fall here they put it here and that transformer is a cancer hazard it's a it's a chemical hazard I'm gonna report it I am going to report it to the EPA that's bullshit they need to take responsibility for what they're doing stupid all right thought I'd show you stupidity yeah there's chemicals in that thing they don't need to be out here on the ground hey I'm not surprised motherfuckers